good morning. Roatan Honduras. Here it is. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna do uh, sloths, monkeys. There she is at Port in Roatan. Of course, I gotta catch up with them because they're uh, way ahead of me. All right, we're getting on our tour for the day. But look at these uh, dried fish hanging there and all the fruit. Look at this one right here. The back with the orange, okay. only the males have that. Okay. Yeah, his name is Sidis Lock, and he has five girlfriends and two dogs. <laughs> yeah, he's a busy guy. It's amazing. Yeah. Are you taking a video? I'm, not I'm taking a picture. You want me to take a video too? The little guy. Hi. And also, guys, if you would like nails, yeah, yeah, they have a tight grip, you guys. Once they lock in those branches to the, uh, <laughs> those claws into the branch, they effortlessly hang on there so they can sleep in any kind of uncomfortable looking position. Ah, that's oh. the whole going on. It's amazing. The guys, more they fall asleep quicker on the guys, I notice. They do? Yeah. So whenever you're ready, guys, let me know and I'll take the, the family photo also, okay? Okay. That's mine. Wait. Now look at me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go jump right on the way. There we go in the capuchin cage. Got... There's one way up there. Hey guys. <gasps> Hi. Oh my. <laughs> he held on to my back I with his tail. Right here. Uh -oh. Mom's phone. With sun oh my god, they use their tail so much. <laughs> he is checking every pocket. Look at him. That's Polly D. Polly D is the sweetest one out of all of them. This one? She would not hurt a fly. Yeah. That's her oh, daughter, no. Paulita. My son. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Vinny all the way up top. Vinny. Mm -hmm. And the owner is from America? No, he says he's from Pittsburgh. Oh, oh okay. That's his. Uh, oh, because that's what we noticed. Cause my husband loves Steelers too. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you're in the right place because he's a huge Steelers fan. Look at his hands out. Look, it's on my hand. And look at the ears. I mean, just was, so human like. Yeah. So, monkeys, they have like 97% human DNA. Oh, yeah. oh my god, oh my god. Hey guys! Oh my, the worst oh my god! You, the worst you can expect is getting pooped or peed on. Uh, he just stood in his drinking water, so he, he is a little wet on you. Oh yeah. yeah, we brought extra clothes just in case. <laughs> okay. I oh my god! Yeah. Hey guys! They're my favorite animal. Hey guys! So oh I know! Look at the like can't Look at that! What That's is that thing? Really like them. All these animals, you guys, are native to the mainland. Oh, don't eat it! But they can after this. Oh, uh, you know what I've noticed? Uh, since these babies are born. Mm -hmm. So they're, they all take gotcha. after the mom. They look exactly like the mom. They got their traits. Uh, Vinny is the tallest one and the lankiest one. This one was born a week apart from another one. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you see yeah. exactly. Oh, you, you, hi. You tell them apart really quickly. Like, is there any bugs up there? Three. Oh my God, he's going <laughs> down my shirt. <laughs> they might go down what's down there? Ooh, what's <laughs> down there? Hey, God, you're so cute. I mean, I know it's not good to have these as yes. pets, but you can see how people want them. Exactly. <laughs> you know? They're very cute, like this when they're babies, but after they, they mature and they hit puberty, it's, uh, it's a different story. You can lift your head, Maddie. Don't worry about a farm. You can even move around freely, okay? Oh,
around right here, they're the males. They're the males, yes, okay. And the small ones that you guys have done over here. Let's feed some iguanas. Mm. Oh, they come. They all just come. Wait, oh my god, they're behind us. This is where mom gets worried. Yeah, it's worried because there's stuff again, you know. Do you eat the whole stick? Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, there you go. See? You like that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna feed some of these tarpoon, I think, fish. Yeah, he's. <laughs> yeah, you remember that game we played? With fish? Yeah, I was just <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see those little yellow and white striped fish. I don't know Jesus. if you can see that. They are so fast. Oh yeah, you feel that? Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. So our last stop before we head back to the boat the famous Roatan sign. Oop, almost fell. And there's our ship right over there. Can you get a picture of us? We're back at the ship. Going through the little area with bars and shops and uh, M&M. And of course our boat back there. We're gonna get on the boat, have a late lunch, and then uh, get ready to pull out. Royal Caribbean's dock in Roatan. Here's the runway to the airport right there at the end. It is now after four o'clock. Everyone is supposed to be on the boat by 3.30. We got a gentleman here that looks like he's waiting for some family members. They've been talking to him and they all keep looking in that direction. So let's see what uh, is going on here. You're just, you're just gonna catch it, that scooter there. I don't know if that's someone arriving. I mean, there's someone even, oh my God. That really might be. Look. That's so hard. Yeah, and there go. I do want to. He just came on the back of that motorcycle, I think. On the back of the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah that peach shirt, there it comes. Hey! Hi! Hip, 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 hip! Come on! Bring it home, bring it home! Alright! Hey, phone, phone, get the phone! Cozumel! Cozumel is calling! Come on, come on! Woo! Here we go. That one last guy. That was it. Had to wait for him and now we're uh, getting ready to push off. I don't know if you caught it right there, but he was literally on the back of a motorcycle making his way here. That was pretty funny. We're at the Schooner's Bar here. We're gonna do uh, trivia at five o'clock. Um, movie themes on the piano. Don, favorite part of Roatan? Holding those slots. That was amazing. 
I like the sloths, but I enjoyed the monkeys, I think, more. They were pretty cool going through my pockets. So this bar here in the center of the main promenade here sits down here for a while and then it'll go up to the uh, Central Park area and then back down. Hey! Pretty cool, huh? Look at the craziness they got going on in the bathrooms here. Oh, what happened? At the urinals. Oh, of course, they got a jogging track. It goes all the way around the boat. So we're hitting a comedy show for the night. We'll leave you with a little bit of that. We'll see you in the morning. Cruise ship is too big. They got homeless people on this cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my cabin. I just sleep in the elevator. <laughs> At least I always know what day it is. <laughs> That's how you know you left your brain at home when they tell you what day it is every day. And you don't care. People in the elevator go, hey, look, baby, it's Friday. We can read. We can read. I six months on the Freedom of the Seas, and they had uh, a couple of uh, two-day cruises. Those were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> really? They, were so, they just walked on, and they walked right back off. They like, they didn't even get to see the flow rider. <laughs> Two-day cruises, come on, man. And then, you know, 